Next, we are going to study about the naming of or the nomenclature of polyfunctional compound. Polyfunctional means containing more than one functional group. So we will see a uh, few extra things that we have to uh, we have to be careful when we do the naming of polyfunctional compounds. The first thing is polyfunctional means what? Uh, it will be containing more than one functional group, and the basic uh, structural structure of the name of an organic compound is there will be one word root, then secondary primary suffixes, um, primary suffix or suffixes a n e a n e or by a n e. Then only one secondary suffix representing functional group. So there will be only one secondary suffix, isn't it? Representing the functional group. Then if a compound contains more than one functional group, only one will go as secondary suffix. Then what about the other functional groups? Then we have to see. So if in organic compounds containing two or more functional groups, only one functional group will be selected as the principal functional group, and that will go as only that will go as secondary suffix. Will be written after the primary suffix or after the word root, and all the other remaining functional groups will be represented as. substituents or secondary functional groups and remember all the prefixes we have we are arranging according to alphabetical order only so if there is more than one functional group only one will go as principal functional group secondary suffix all the other functional groups will be remain uh, treated as substituents and will be written as prefixes only and they are called as secondary functional groups only now what is the criteria if an aldehyde and uh, one alcohol group is present which one should be select as the principal functional group and which will go as secondary functional groups that is depending on the priority order according to priority order this is the priority order we have it is very important for next year also so the carboxylic acid is having the highest priority the functional group with the highest priority will be written first so coh carboxylic acid is having highest priority then uh, sulfonic acid ester acyl chloride amides and these are the derivatives of carboxylic acids also so carboxylic acids carboxylic acid and its derivatives are having highest priority than other functional groups then followed by cyano group CHO group, keto group. So, if, if there is an aldehyde and a cyano group, which one is having highest priority? Is CN. So, CN will go as principal functional group as secondary suffix, and aldehyde will go as prefix that is secondary functional group. Now, then followed by ketone, OH, NH2 group, double bond and triple bond. that is why we uh, already said if in a compound if it contains double bond and triple bond both double bond is having highest priority so that should get the lowest possible number than a triple bond so remember few functional groups are not included in this box isn't it like halogens nitro group then och3 that is methoxy group or ethoxy group any alkoxy group can come those functional groups are not actually included in this box that means all these other remaining functional groups will be always coming as prefixes they are always treated as substituents so they will be written only as prefixes now the principle next thing that we have to uh, be careful that is the principal functional group will be always indicated as secondary suffix after the word root or after the primary suffix while other functional groups will be written as prefixes only that means the secondary functional groups the principal chain in a polyfunctional compound must be numbered in such a way that the principal functional group should get the lowest possible number and then followed by double bond triple bond and substituents that means substituents are having least priority and uh, that means if they are getting higher number substituents means like halogens uh, halogen is a functional group actually but it is considered as a substituent 
then nitro group it is a step functional group but it is considered as say, substituent because of the least priority then alkyl groups all these uh, if they are getting higher number no problem so these are the few things that we have to remember when we uh, do the naming of polyl functional compounds then the last point is the prefixes for the secondary functional groups and the other substituents should be placed all the prefixes we are always placing according to the alphabetical order okay so now we will see few examples to write the upac naming so in the first compound it is a straight chain compound uh, so uh, anyway we can do the numbering either from left to right or from right to left before that we have to see the functional groups present so here bromine and chlorine are present they are uh, not considered as functional group they are functional groups but they are treated as substituents with least priority so there is no other functional group present isn't it so uh, anyway we can do the numbering uh, either we can do from left to right or from right to left so here anyway if you do the numbering the bromine and chlorine they are getting one and four number isn't it left to right one and four right to left also one and four then which numbering should we select equivalent positions they are getting if we are getting same number uh, for positions uh, when we do the numbering from any direction such positions are known as equivalent positions so from right to left or left to right we are getting the position as one and four which numbering should we select the one which is coming according to the one which comes first according to the alphabetical order should get the lowest possible number so bromine or chlorine which is coming first bromine so one two three four bromine should get the lowest possible number so four means word root is but primary suffixes a and e they are singly bonded no other secondary suffixes so if only bromine and chlorine are present they will go as prefixes bromo and chloro bromine we should write first so it is 1 bromo 4 chloro butane the name is 1 bromo 4 chloro butane if you want you can omit number 1 now the second compound if you uh, analyze again this is straight chain compound then identify the functional groups present here there is a c double bond or group which is present between two carbon atoms between two carbon atoms if a c double bond or comes that means it is a keto group only keto group comes between two carbon atoms now at the end there is one c double bond or oh group it is carboxylic acid now compare the priority coh and ketone coh is having highest priority so it will be considered as the principal functional group that should get the lowest possible number now coh uh, is a terminal functional group so that should be always numbered as number 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 6 carbon means the word root will be hex they are all are singly bonded so a n e now coh will uh, go as the principal functional group that is prime secondary suffix oic acid so remove the last e from here one oic acid now keto group will go as secondary functional group as prefix so if keto group comes as suffix it will be on o n e if it comes as prefix it will be oxo so what is the position 5 so it is 5 oxo hexan one oic acid or hexanoic acid okay hexan one oic acid is same as hexanoic acid both are same one no need to write now in the third compound if you analyze you can see two functional groups that is one is nh2 group and the other one is oh group when you compare when you see the priority order which comes first actually oh so that it means oh it is having highest priority than nh2 group so oh will be considered as principal functional group so it will be written as secondary suffix nh2 will go as prefix that means it will go as a secondary functional group now how so which one should get the lowest possible oh 1 2 3 4 5 5 so five means word root is pent all the five carbon atoms are singly bonded so pentane 
now oh will go as secondary suffix it is on second carbon so it remove last e so pentane to old oh suffix is old now on fourth carbon we have nh2 group it will go as prefix nh2 group prefix is amino so it is on fourth carbon so four amino it should be capital so the name of the compound is four amino pentane to old in the next compound it is also a straight chain uh, with one one or two branches the functional groups present are one is halogen one is double bond one is oh yes the highest priority is for oh so oh attached to carbon should get the lowest possible 1 2 3 4 we cannot write 4 here after 3 we cannot write 4 here we have to write 4 here only because there is one chlorine also so we have to select the chain containing chlorine also four carbon means the word root will be but there is a double bond present on second carbon so but to e oh will go as primary functional sorry uh, principal functional group as secondary suffix so e one ol so remove last e from ene and write ol ol position is on first carbon now what all things we have on third carbon there is one methyl and fourth carbon there is one chloro that we have to write in the alphabetical order so four c should be capital four chloro 3 methyl but to in 1 ol and note down but to in 1 ol is same as but to in ol write that also now in the second to fifth question where if you analyze you we can see c double bond o that is a keto group between two carbon there is one oh group there is one nh2 group and one coh group so if you look at the priority order which is having highest priority carboxylic acid so that should get the lowest possible number coh is a terminal functional group that should be marked as number 1 2 3 4 5 Phi means the word root will be pent. They all are so all the phi carbon atoms are singly bonded. So A N E is the primary suffix. So among this, the highest priority functional group that is C O H will go as secondary suffix, isn't it? So pentane. Remove the last E one O E acid. All other functional groups will be considered as secondary functional groups only or as substituents only will be written as prefixes but we have to write in the alphabetical order along with their position so we have one fourth carbon there is a keto group when keto group comes as prefix it is oxo so we have four oxo then third carbon there is one oh when oh group comes as prefix it is hydroxy so we have three hydroxy and two on second carbon there is one nh2 group nh2 group prefix is amino So which one should come according uh, first according to alphabetical order? It is two amino, then three hydroxy, then four oxo. So what is the name of the compound? Two amino, three hydroxy, four oxo, pentane one oic acid. Pentane one oic acid is same as pentane oic acid. Now in the next one, if you analyze, you can see this is actually an OH group. OH group, remember, it will be attached to it is coming as a branch attached to the previous carbon, that is CH carbon. So here we have C double bond O coming between two carbons, that is a keto group. So here we have a keto group and one OH group coming. Two functional groups are there. So if you compare the priority order, which has higher priority, keto group is coming first. So keto group is having highest priority. That should get the lowest possible number. So one, two, three, four, five. Five means the word root is pent. They all are singly bonded. So the primary suffix is a n e. remove the last e and write the secondary suffix secondary suffix is here highest priority group is ketone that will go as principal functional group so two on keto group is the second carbon so oh will go as prefix it is 
four hydroxy. It should be should be capital. So four hydroxy pentan two on is the name of the compound. Next one, seventh one we have a double bond and one NH two group. Highest priority is. For NH2, so NH2 group attached to carbon should get in the lowest possible. So numbering from one to three. Three carbon means it is prop. Since there is a double bond, primary suffix is in. It is two in. Then NH2 only one functional group is there, so that will go as secondary suffix. How we are writing secondary suffix by removing last e. From primary suffix, so from E and E, last E should be removed. Then write one amine. No other prefixes, so P should be capital. So prop two E one amine, or it is same as prop two in amine. Prop two in amine. Now the next one is. A compound with NO2 functional group and OH functional group. If you look at the priority order, NO2 group is not at all included in the priority order. So that is always considered as a substituent with least priority. Will come only as prefixes only. So highest priority will go to OH. That carbon should get the lowest possible number, and that will go as secondary suffix. So one, two, three, four. Five. So it is five mean pent singly bonded so pentan two or then on second carbon we have one methyl and fourth carbon there is one nitro which one should come first according to alphabetical order E M so two methyl four nitro two methyl four nitro pentan two or that is the compound name. Now the next one is a compound containing triple bond, double bond, and one C double bond or OH. Highest priority goes to COH. So that will go as principal functional group. Will be written as secondary suffix. So it is a terminal functional group. So that should be now marked as number one, two, three, four, five, six. Six carbon means the word root is hex. Now primary suffix we we have both E N E and Y N E. So in we have to write first according to alphabetical order. So it is two in. How to write y n e also? Double triple bond is between four and five, so it is four i. So how to write y n e after e n e? Remove last e from e n e, then write four i. So that is the primary suffixes. E n e and y n e are only primary suffixes. Then we have to see the functional group. Yes, COH is there as the principal function group, so we have to write the secondary suffix oic acid. How we are writing the secondary suffix by removing last e from primary suffix, so four i one oic acid. No other prefixes, so H should be capital. So the name this can also be written as H two e four i oic acid. So remember, hex is the word root. E N E and Y N E, both the primary suffixes are there. So E N E should be written for that. We already learned. Then how we are writing Y N E after E N E by removing last E from E N E. We wrote Y N E. Then we have one uh, primary, sorry, secondary suffix also that is O E C A S I D. O E C A S I D we will be writing by removing last E from Y N E. And the last compound is there is one OH and COH group present, so this should be marked as one, two, three, four. Four means but. Word root is but. Singly bonded means butane. Primary suffix is any. Secondary suffix is one OH acid. OH will be written as prefix only, so it is three hydroxy. H should be capital. The name of the compound is 3-hydroxybutanoic acid. So this is about the naming of 
poly function few uh, uh, these are actually few examples uh, of naming of polyfunctional compounds